Hello, everybody, and welcome to the very first edition of The Bro Show right here on multiple platforms. You might be watching on PPW's YouTube channel. You might be watching over at OLE Podcast as well, too. But wherever you're watching from, thanks for joining in. I'm one half of the video bros. I'm Bobby Munson. You know my partner in crime, the man with the angelic voice, Mr. Papa Smokes. And our very special guest on the very first edition. He's cutthroat. He is Colton Kelly, and he's got a big match coming up. Colton Kelly, thanks for joining us here today. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Bobby. I uh, I appreciate being the first guest. Yeah, it's uh, we we had to reach out because again, we're talking all things Prairie Pro Wrestling, and on October the 29th, we have got the big show, Rings of Honor, Ring of Sorry, let me say <laughs> that again. PBW presents. Ring of Horrors coming up on October 29th. That is a Saturday, so make sure that you get your tickets, that you're there in a live capacity, because we have got a world title match coming up. It is the, I I guess, the self, well, it's not self-proclaimed, but I mean, it's truth, I guess, in reality. The longest reigning Berg Pro Wrestling heavyweight champion ever. She, Gakbar Shabazz, is going to be defending against our guest right there, Colton Kelly. I believe you just found out the news here tonight that you're going to be going up against Sheik on the 29th. I thought I had some more business to settle with uh, old El Asino, but uh, Sheik Akbar Shabazz. That's a big challenge. There's uh, there's a fair amount of history between me and him in Alberta, and uh, I'm very excited to bring what we have to offer and what I have to offer to Sheik Shabazz to Saskatchewan. It is going to be one hell of a night. Uh, you're... Title opportunity again. This uh, we haven't had a champion for very, very long, but you come onto the scene just before we crowned our very first Prairie Pro Wrestling champion and came in like a bat out of hell. I mean, you come in and you're picking up victories all over the place, undefeated in Prairie Pro Wrestling so far. And now that is also on the line coming up on October 29th. That undefeated streak going in there against the champion. Now, your thoughts going into this? That's quite the fact. Um, Wow, I'm starting to feel the pressure, actually. <laughs> Sorry I, to put it on you. Yeah. No, this is awesome. <laughs> I um, PPW has been a place that I've been able to come in the last three events, uh, like, give or take, right? Three events? I, yep. This, this will be your fourth, Two or I three, this will, yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we've been gaining some traction, and I'm, um, like you said, it's been a fast rise. Uh, a main event scene, uh, a title match this short in um my stint with you guys that it is definitely something to say and then you have the stakes of me now being recognized as be having an undefeated streak and that adds another layer because not only do i now have a title that i need to capture i have my continued legacy to withhold it's going to be interesting time uh pop smokes i know you're itching to get some questions in there so i'm gonna i'm gonna throw this over to you my man Oh, for sure. Uh, we've watched you, Colton Kelly, over in uh, Alberta for the past couple of years, making a name for yourself, doing the grind out there. What attracted you to coming to uh, come to Saskatoon and to Sas- uh, Saskatchewan to uh, do some matches for PPW? Well, there's definitely a uh, connection between Alberta and Saskatchewan wrestling. Like it is prairie wrestling. Um, I, my home promotion for the longest time in Alberta was the pro, uh, Prairie Wrestling Alliance and Prairie Pro Wrestling. Like there's deep histories entrenched with each other. Um, I watch guys like Michael Richard Blaze go and cut their teeth there. I watch guys like Shigak Bar Shabazz get opportunities there. I heard rumors about how like beautifully amazing your guys' audience is. Um, and with the stage I'm at in my career, I knew that it was time for me to start branching out and PPW is one of my first options. Very glad you did. It has been uh, one hell of a ride uh, thus far. Uh, Let's talk about the few of the opponents that you've had along the way, because we're going to get to one of the big ones who can be an X factor going into your championship match on the 29th. Uh, First of all, when you first debuted, it was against another debut for Prairie Pro Wrestling. Uh, Barack Garani, I believe is the pronunciation of his name. I know he'll correct me if I'm incorrect on that. Oh, he'll tell you. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he will. He's got no Uh, problem (laughs) running his mouth. That guy don't. But there's been a lot of fans support for you going into the title match i know on social media but 
Barat is getting himself involved at this point, too. I mean, this is a man you defeated, and he's saying that there is nobody that's going to defeat his boy, Sheik Akbar Shabazz, for that Prairie Pro Wrestling Championship. I mean, he first of all, he takes himself out of the equation in saying this, but I wonder, uh, do, do we worry about Barat Garani at all, and uh, what was that like uh, experiencing that first match against him in Prairie Pro Wrestling? I mean, people run thick as thieves, right? We, we know that Barat is a... Uh is a staunch supporter of Sheik Akbar Shabazz. Um, we're aware that I don't really make kind enemies. Um, so that definitely puts a target on my back. Um, in terms of his involvement, I don't really see it being a factor. I know I haven't necessarily made any friends at PPW, but I do know who my enemies are. And I am well aware of what they're capable of. So with that in mind, I did prove already in defeating him how well I do know him as an opponent. Shocked the audience with that one too. And uh, I definitely intend on proving that I know my opponent, Sheik Akbar Shabazz. Yeah, it's it's going to be a killer match. Uh, Pop Smokes, I, I, I know you're going to get you to get in there again, my man. Uh, so ask away. Sure, sure. After this past show, the September slobber knocker, we saw you have a, a extremely hard hitting, hitting match with El Asesino right before the break there. This was, uh, I've seen some pretty stiff matches in my time. This was really, really hard hitting and the fans were loving it. Those chops were ringing out over the whole city. How uh, Was that uh, an introduction to some of the kind of talent you haven't faced uh, around in the, the Saskatchewan area? Yeah, I definitely, that was a first time matchup for me. Um, I had a little bit of like some, you know, some contact in the uh, the Bunkhouse Battle Royal you guys did uh, a couple months ago for the number one contendership. Yeah. And then um, I guess he wasn't too fond of um, my rise in PPW and definitely made that one clear. So uh, it definitely, like that. that's a style I like working, right? I like a guy that's willing to push me. I like a guy that is willing to cut corners as I was once a guy, very, very willing to cut corners. Um, this straight and narrow thing is a little bit of like a, a new habit of mine. So I definitely, uh, strong competition out there and yeah. people want to put on a show. Whether that's to take you out, whether that's for the audience, you know, like, people want to be doing their best out there and you get the receiving end of that, you know? Yeah. And we, you, you mentioned it right there uh, about El Asesino. I mean, he, he's not happy about your, your rise in Prairie pro wrestling. I mean, you come in, you immediately connect with the fans, which is something he's never been able to do. The <laughs> PPW nation has zero interest in making a connection with El Asesino. He is a dirty player, but he is also one of the most fierce uh, fierce competitors here in Saskatchewan, one of the most decorated wrestlers in Western Canadian uh, history. Again, he can be an X factor as well, too. We know that he wants to stop any rise of any young talent coming into the company. Do you have to keep an eye open for El Asesino at the next show as you're also oh. keeping your focus on Sheik Akbar? A hundred percent. There's no question about that. I, um, I think he's a very dangerous component in this match. Um, couple factors of that is he clearly has a problem with me and after the cheap shot after my uh, roll up victory last month he it just proves to be a guy that i really can't trust now like barat i i know he's like the the enemy you keep close you know but El Asesino is still an x factor to me i really i'm still unaware of what he's fully capable of well, we've uh, they've made full of the history of Saskatchewan wrestling, what he is capable of. Yeah. He's oh, a yeah. very dangerous man and one to look <laughs> out for. Uh, and again, not too happy about the way things have been going for him in uh, PPW as of late, but that's okay. El Asesino aside, you've got the big title match, and that's what yes. most fans are looking forward to. Uh, Papa Smokes, we still got some time. Uh, let's, uh, let's pick Colton's brain here. What do you got? Yeah. Yeah, well, talking about the big title match coming up, then could you give us some small peek into your strategy in approaching this match? Because, again, at, at September Slobberknocker, we watched Cannonball Kelly 
give 110% in that championship match, beat, beat the Sheik from pillar to post all around the venue, all in the yeah. concessions, all around the fence, everything, and he couldn't get the job done. What are you going to have to do to beat Sheik Akbar Shabazz? It's a very good question because um, I've seen the tactics that have been employed to um, combat Sheik's title reign. Um, and not that I've had a chance to really like show off that sort of, um, aspect of my personality, but, uh, cannonballs tactics are very close to what I would consider to be my tactics in a high stakes situation. Um, so I'm going to have to pull out some new bags. There's some new tricks out of my bag. You know, I'm a much more mature competitor than I have been in the past. Um, I'm a lot more focused. Uh, the PPW Nation brings a level of that out of me. Um, and, you know, like, I feel like there are people in that audience I've got to make proud, you know, and I feel like there, I mean, there could be people in the locker room that, you know, want to see me take that next step. Um, and for myself, like, there's an undefeated streak on the line. There's a title on the line. There's years of history on the line. You know, I, I've, I have a death match victory over Sheik Shabazz. I've had numerous matches with him at different points in my career. And the results have been very different. This is going to be a title match. You know, the, this is going to be a clean wrestling match on my part. You know, I'm going to try to keep that match in the ring as much as humanly possible as I've done it in every one of my outings in Saskatchewan, you know, I've really been focusing on that aspect of my style and proving in the ring that I can put a down guy down for a three count. Well, let's, uh, let's go into your career a little bit here just for a moment. So the fans at PPW might be brand new to Colton Kelly. They yeah. might've only seen you just uh, come into the scene this year but you're definitely not new to the wrestling scene in general. No. If I'm not mistaken, we've had this conversation before. You've got quite a few years under your belt, uh, trained under your father, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I trained under a few guys. I was definitely like a train by committee thing because of the way the culture was in Alberta at the time. There was, and my father, he, um, he was kind of one of those people that was as much as people have to say about him, he was aware that um, he would be considerably harder on me than maybe was appropriate. And so he definitely encouraged me to seek um, training and counsel from other wrestlers who I looked up to and respected. Um, so there's a lot of hands in that. I started considerably young and then I started working shows around like 17. Um, and then that's kind of how long my wrestling career has been. So I'm 27 now. Um, I've definitely gone through many periods of uh, ups and downs, different levels of maturity, um, different ways that I uh, would behave in front of audiences, different ways I behave with friends. Um, and I'm definitely consistently looking to put my best foot forward. And I've been showing that with my outings in PPW. Oh, yeah, you have. Uh, Papa Smokes, anything else you want to ask? Yeah, I, I wanted to ask about the fans specifically because uh, yeah. it's not just because we're the video bros working for PPW, but we have tremendously great fans. They're so supportive. They're so devout. And as we've uh, already talked about, they, they've taken to the cutthroat Colton Kelly. So what do you have to say to the fans, if uh, the fans that are listening to this in the uh, in the days and weeks leading up to your title match with Sheik Akbar Shabazz? I am well aware that you guys will be there for me. Um, I appreciate everything that you guys have given to me over these last uh, few outings. The um, support that I've been given by the PPW Nation is unlike what I've felt in many of my wrestling experiences. Um, they're a very engaged and electric crowd. And I think one of the big things that helped garner their support was the fact that I was aware that they wanted to see people prove themselves. And what I can say for Barat in the nicest way possible is that he went out there with me and we unleashed a secret that Alberta was keeping, that there's 
really good guys willing to step up. Yeah. And, and so, we'll... oh, sorry, Bobby. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, so I was just saying, and it, like in that case, I'm more than grateful and more than happy to show up for the PPW Nation. And hopefully we will see a plethora of more talent come from the Alberta scene because a lot haven't made their mark here as well, too. Um, I'm, I'm going to take it that one step further and uh, give you this opportunity. You've got the full floor. you got Sheik Akbar Shabazz. I know I'm going to make sure that that guy's listening. Let him know what's coming his way on October 29th. It's your opportunity to say, get it all off your chest. All right, let's go. October 29th, Sheik Akbar Shabazz. You are the heavyweight champion for just a little longer. Colton Kelly, cutthroat Colton Kelly is coming for you. And you know what I'm capable of. And I'm ready to unleash it in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Watch out, Cheeky. Colton Kelly's coming for you on October 29th. And the entire PPW Nation is going to be firmly behind him. Uh, so that is going to wrap up this episode of the bro show but before we go cold kelly let the fans know where they can find you on social media and plug whatever other matches you have coming up from any other companies as well too uh colton kelly 95 all social media uh i got uh i'm doing a bunch of dates for the rcw halloween tour that's uh 27th 28th i'm in saskatoon with you guys on the 29th and then uh there might be another date on the 30th we'll see Wonderful. Check out all the work from our good friend Colton Kelly right there. Uh, make sure to check him out on all the socials as well, too. And, hey, if you get an opportunity, buy some merch as well, too. Help a guy out. Uh, we look forward to seeing you on October 29th, Colton Kelly. And hopefully we'll Thanks, be able boys. to uh, celebrate with you after as the new champion of PPW. Hopefully. Thanks for stopping in. <laughs> See you. Take Thanks, care. Colton. Thanks, guys. <laughs>